morning and welcome to morning prayer on the day when we remember St. Timothy and St. Titus, Paul's converts and fellow missionaries. Like Paul, Timothy and Titus did not spare themselves. They were ready to sacrifice everything to bring the good news of God's unimaginable love to peoples who did not know him. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. O Christ, the light of heaven and of the world true light, you come in all your radiance to cleave the web of light. May what is false within us before your truth give way, that we may live untroubled with quiet hearts this day. May steadfast faith sustain us and hope made firm in you. The love that we have wasted O God of love, renew. The Gospel of Mark for today assures us that there is a great potential at the heart of ordinary life and that real growth can come from the smallest beginnings. Jesus said to the crowds, this is what the kingdom of God is like. It is, it's as if a man should scatter seed on the earth, night and day while he sleeps, when he's awake, the seed sprouts and grows. How? He does not know. Of its own accord, the earth produces first the shoot, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the crop is ripe, at once he puts in the sickle, because harvest time has come. He also said, with what shall we compare the kingdom of God? What parable can we find for it? It's like a mustard seed, which at the time of its sowing on the earth, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet, once it is sown, it grows up and becomes the biggest shrub of all and puts out big branches so that the birds of the air nest in its shade. Using many parables like these, he spoke the word to them so far as they were capable of understanding it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything to his disciples on their own. We too can trust that even the apparently insignificant seeds that we sow have the power to grow and to surprise. Like the farmer, we don't sit watching them. After the farmer sows, a new dance between soil and seed takes over to create a new story, a growth independent of human effort. Many of our efforts to sow the word may seem futile, with little or no results. God is patient and allows time and earth to work with all the sowing that is part of ordinary individual, family and community life everywhere. God's reign grows in its own mysterious ways. No one can force it. We can plant and water, but only God gives the growth. So we pray. 
We pray for the gift of holy trust, that we don't lose heart when love, goodness, forgiveness, courage, generosity, kindness, tolerance, hours of prayer seem to make no difference. Let us be witnesses to the patient God. Amen.